Hey guys, Vigaman here and welcome back to Let's Build Haven Bay. This Let's Build series which is going towards an end sadly, but uh, I'm stoked that this whole area is just really taking shape uh, and I'm happy that everything turns out cool and that you guys enjoy what we have built here as much as I have and I'm also very inspired for some new projects for the future. But uh, for today's episode, we're going to be working on uh, the temple up here, the temple of the five gods. Uh, we're going to be working a little bit on the interior. As you can see, we have uh, been working a little bit here on in the time lapses in the beginning of the video. We just built a little bit around here uh, and it's all looking super fancy. Uh, very cool building and I really like how it's not this square build. Uh, by that I mean that these blocks are on a diagonal and these ones are like a also one diagonal where I go two out and then one in and then another two you know what I mean uh, it's not just straight lines it's a little bit more broken up and it's not like um, this one here is not perpendicular with this building and this building is not perpendicular with this building uh, which just makes the whole building a little bit more fancy I suppose but also creates this uh, uh, illusion of uh, unsymmetry which is very cool and I create this cool small platform here in the beginning which is kind of the courtyard of this temple and overall just a nice build I think and from down here it looks super cool as well and I yeah I, I think it's a good build I'm happy with how this all looks so uh, later on I'm gonna place down this path going down to the city here and then decorate the sides all the way up here but for now we're gonna focus on the inside of this here. We're gonna see how much we can build. I'm aiming for about 20 minutes episodes here. I'm gonna have something to drink. Just a minute here, guys. Just a second, I'm in. A minute, that will be a long drink. But uh, yeah, so we're gonna work on here and I'm gonna aim for like 20 minutes, maybe 30 minutes of building and we're gonna see how far we can get, all right? I don't want to make these videos too long. So what we're gonna have here, we're gonna have these like statues or monuments for the five gods. I talked about this in the last episode where we kind of created the, um, the religion of these people living here, which came from the west and kind of settled down in the desert here. So they have five gods, the five gods of the west. We have um, death here, which has a name. L let me actually, I, I can get that up here. Um, just a second here I can show you guys what I'm talking about um, I was not really that prepared but I do have it here on my other screen if I just open it up now we should have it here so we have the dead Arrakis that's his name he's a dead guy uh, and he's evil and you pray to him if you want to do something bad but also uh, he's not all bad he, he's kind of this mixed person he is also a little bit of a good person so if you have someone who's dying or if you're dying you pray to him for a good time in the afterlife all right so he's not all bad but he's also the god of bad uh, actions and stuff then we have um let me see here we have epona uh, the maiden the god of fertility family in good harvest then we have uh, ruar the knight uh, which is the god of uh, battles and wars and stuff then we have yora the sorcerer which is the god of wisdom and then we have mika the hunter which is the god for good luck when it comes to hunting and fishing and getting food that way so what we're going to do here is to create some monuments for these gods here and what i want to have is kind of separate them out a little bit here so what do we have one here then one here yeah I'm gonna fix that one here is one two three a four a five yes that could work so then you kind of this is the entrance and we have the gods on all sides here and then this is the entrance to the servants building and which is the people serving and making sure everything is okay in the temple so that's kind of cool let's see what, what we can do with these um, monuments here nothing is prepared here for by from my side so we're just gonna kind of uh work a little bit around here see if we can come up with a cool some cool designs uh, i wonder if we if we just do it like this like very simple and then just have 
uh, the icon on top. Maybe that's a little bit boring, but let's see how that looks. So um, and then we're gonna have um, the maiden here. And what I want to do is to use the same icons for all of the, um, the temples all around this world here, uh, which is serving this religion here. But I don't think that's too bad if we do it like that. I'm gonna have something more to drink here. But I don't think that's too bad. Um, it's kind of simple. What we could do though... Um, let's see how that looks. No, crap. Um, this one, and then like that. That's better. It's a lot better actually. We can do it like that. Um, but then the problem is with the warrior, uh, with his um, the the shield which is placed on uh, on a block, well, on an, in an item frame. Uh, I guess we can come up with something to fix that. Uh, let's see if we uh, get this one and then the shield right here. So. We can't place it like that, because that would be awesome if we could, but if we... Like... Can you just stay there? Nah, you can't. <laughs> uh, Alright, I understand you. I understand that you don't want to stay right there. Uh, we can do it like this. But just have something in the back, of course. I'm not too fond of that, though. Um... I'm not. Uh, what, what, what can we do here to fix this? Uh, we can put up some kind of... Maybe... Um, do something like this. And then have that staying on top like that. That could work. Actually, actually it doesn't look too bad. I would love to have it like center, but I don't think we can do it that way. So. I think I can live with that, and then here we're just gonna put you on top of there. That's pretty cool. I'm just gonna have a look here on my uh, my lore screen just so we get everything right, and, yeah, and then we have the last one. I'm not sure. I, I think we could have done something epic, more epic than this, but uh, still, I don't want it to be like too overwhelming. Just something like that. It's, just, it's kind of very simple, but it works, I guess. And I also put this rose here in the ground, which I think I want to implement in all these temples, which is like the uh, the rose of the gods or something like that, which is just kind of a, uh, a symbol they use a lot in this religion here. But let's just kind of see how it feels. When you walk in here and then we have this... Podiums, we're gonna remove that and remove that as well. And we have these podiums like that. And to me, it seems pretty cool. I, I like that. Uh, I think it works and it's not too overwhelming. And then maybe we could have like this maybe have like a table in the front for offerings, or maybe a table in the back for offerings. I don't know, in the front? No, I don't think you should have... Maybe we should have like in the middle is where you put all the offerings. That would be kind of cool if we like... Um, had some... Uh, like this, and then maybe some barrels of gold. Like that, and then some a lot of candles and stuff around here. Like this is where you would put all of your offerings. In the middle here, I think that would be kind of cool. Let's uh, let's do something like that. Um, I know that would like oils and stuff would be very valuable, so there's something you would um, you would um, offer that, and then gold, of course. Can we get that? Now we can get that in slab. Um, it's not possible to get it in slab. We can have like layers of gold. I'm not sure if I like that. We, c we can have that, and we can have some more lights and stuff. 
just like this and then um, yeah I think something like that just kind of just the offerings of this area here and then uh, we can have a chandelier hanging from up above here I also went a little bit fancy with the, the ceiling here and it looks kind of cool I think a lot of colors kind of creates this uh, wealthy feeling but yeah I, I like that idea here of having uh, the offerings in the middle here you can have a flower pot as well something in it like that uh, we can maybe have that there instead and then uh, small chest like that yeah I think that's kind of cool I like that idea of having a, an offering place in the middle uh, so yeah that's that's very nice I like that uh, we should have some more lights around here though around all this place so I think we're gonna just have these ones hanging down maybe here in the corners like that that's not too bad uh, maybe we should have them further down like that no let's let's keep him up like that And another one here yeah that's cool and I still feel that we should have some kind of offering plates in front of them but uh, maybe what we can do is to have a complete border all the way around um, around here like this and then we can have some candles and stuff put on this and instead of in front of the icons and stuff so let's do that because uh, it also kind of creates more depth in here I think that looks kind of cool yeah I, I, I like that idea uh, so then let's just fill that in like that and then what we can have is like good candles and lights and flowers and stuff onto here as servings and stuff like that yeah that's just kind of cool uh, not too too fancy and stuff, but it kind of gets the job done and uh, We could also have some flower pots of course um, With some different flowers on it and then Flower pot like that we can have like some different ones around here Yeah, it's kind of cool very cool actually I like that um, some nice ideas what would be nice so where if we could have some yeah, like plates of food and stuff and just to simple not I don't want it to symbolize food but um these things that smell very good uh, I know that in many medieval cultures they used to have like these leaves and stuff they would uh, uh, they would uh, kind of um, crush and then they would smell good in religious uh, places and stuff so yeah that's kind of what this is supposed to be like a plate of leaves and herbs and stuff that they can uh, which smell good but yeah that, this is a cool area I like how this is turning out uh, very nice very very nice kind of how I was expecting it to look and from the outside yeah that looks kind of good as well okay it looks very nice um, I'm a little bit worried about this though that the goal is just staying out here and people could very simply get in here uh, I'm not sure if I should do something about that or if I should just keep it open like this because um, I know that uh, except for the Vikings but normally back in the days uh, medieval ages and stuff people weren't really raiding uh, temples and stuff because of I didn't know if there, like, if there was a god there. Uh, they didn't know if they were supposed to survive or not. Uh, so that, at least what I've heard, uh, very often if you were in a temple or something like that, uh, most likely if there was a raid in your town or something, they would leave the temple untouched. At least that's what I've heard. Um, so I, I don't know. I don't know. Of course, if people want to steal, they will steal. 
but I, I kind of just want to keep it open like that, how it is. Let's have a carpet right here, maybe. And of course, we're going to have some guards guarding the gate for this. So it's going to be a hard time getting in here anyway, even though it's simple to just kind of jump over. We can rise this up even one more, though, for some extra protection. That also actually looks a lot better. So let's actually do that. Um, to just increase the protection, but it also looks very cool when we do, the, do it like that. So fill it up. All the way up. Yes, that looks so much better actually. I'm glad I've, I've thought of that. Uh, it looks so nice. Um, let's also... I just like putting trapdoors between these because it makes the arch a little bit smoother. So let's do that all the way around. And what if we... Um, we have this thing here or maybe this thing and have this one as well which one looks the best I kind of like that one even though it's like an Egyptian theme or something like that uh, I, th I still think it fits uh, what I'm doing here yeah that looks kind of cool I like that and then we have this one which we can use other places how about like up here and then we also have we put uh, the trapdoor below here like like that yeah like that again and here again this upper part is kind of plain to be honest uh, I would love to just add some more detail just to to bring this to life a little bit more. So what I want to do is... What if we place these? How does that look? That looks good. Just to like... Um, supporting the roof a little bit here. So something like that. And we can have that like on the bottom here as well. Yeah, that looks good. Um, kind of fits the theme we have going here. So, uh, I like that. I'm kind of all over the place here, but I'm, I'm usually that. So, you just you guys just have to bear with me, I guess. And just kind of follow along. You don't really have a choice. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Very cool. I like where this is going. Indeed, very cool. So, uh... This is kind of what we have here, and then we have an entrance, this area here, which is a part of the servants building, and then also this here is supposed to be part of the servants building. Then what we're gonna have, we need to have a ladder going up somewhere. Uh, we can have that maybe in the corner here, that would kind of make sense. So if we uh, just get a ladder like that, and bring you up also guys just want to mention that uh, I'm on the server now so if you want to check this out for yourself you can do that by getting on the server and just warp over to you can actually do warp Vigo man but you can also do warp uh, Haven Bay and you should find this area here you can tour it out for yourself and you can check out the stuff before it actually happens in a video because yeah, you can, you can see me live building here. And there's probably a few people actually here just watching me build right now. Uh, there often is a few people just watching, which I can't see because they're invisible. Uh, since I'm recording now, everyone is invisible. So you can come over here and actually check it out live. And you can chat to me in the server chat if you want to. Feel free to do that. I'm glad for everyone who decides to tune in here and check it out. So I just want to give a little bit of an advertise to the server here, which is so kindly to host this for me some more to drink here my throat is getting dry awesome all right so uh, we should have some more windows no okay yeah this is actually leading into another build let's open this up and then I think I just want to have it like that and this leads into another room which is kind of big but all of this is just for the servants building and maybe some storage and stuff like that and uh, we're gonna see how much we can do in today's episode 
but uh yeah so we go in here and i don't know what to do right here but i'm thinking like a kitchen and stuff would be nice to have right here so uh, let's grab ourselves some brocks and just fill in the floor here of this one and uh, like this and yeah we're gonna fix that below the gate there later on but um I think we can have a kitchen here that would be kind of cool and maybe some small other stuff so let's do it like like that and and uh, maybe use this one can I play yeah you can stay right there that's awesome uh, so this one is kind of opening in different ways because it's built on this like a sloped wall here kind of but uh, yeah it works I guess and then we need to go up from here uh, we can use a simple like that or we can use we can also use a simple one like that getting up let's actually do that and then use a simple door here like that and let me get some of these ones there we go a simple door like that I'm gonna cover up this just because I want to keep the textures the same and then we have a nice room in here let's light it up a little bit so you guys can see what I'm doing here so uh, this one is supposed to be like the kitchen area I think um, and then we're gonna have maybe some kind of servant area and then we're gonna have sleeping quarters up here I think maybe this is too small then we can go out here and go up and then we have some more room and this is leading up to the second layers or the second and the third layer of this temple here so up here we're gonna have some more um, stuff happening but I think yeah let's for I think we're gonna have the sleeping quarters you kind of squeeze them in and yeah we're gonna do that I guess but uh, let's see, do the kitchen first and I don't think we have time to do anything more than that uh, if we don't want to make the videos way too long so um, let's get get some of these these look super nice when it comes to like kitchen stuff so we can do it like that and use this corner here for a kitchen which is kind of cool and what I like to do is to mix it up a little bit with these different blocks we can kind of mix it up a little bit don't like that one though and then we can mix it up a little bit above like that you can also use this one looks kind of cool and uh, yeah let's do something like that for a kitchen and then we of course gonna have uh, a fire like a furnace like that maybe we can have that over here move that out a little bit from the main thing here and then we're gonna have uh, a chimney leading up from this one I wonder what kind of blocks we should use for the chimney how about like this dirty sandstone does that look too weird I don't like that block um, dark you can use this one it doesn't really have to be different block but I just think it looks a little bit better when it's not all the same so let's do something like that and then just bring up a little bit of a fire or like a chimney here doesn't have to be anything spectacular but it's just gonna leave the smoke away is kind of the idea here something like that and then on top we're gonna have like something like that yeah that, that gets the job done and here maybe I don't know now we're just gonna have like this going the smoke going inside a wall here we don't gonna have like this ventilation stuff above and then I also like to just put uh, some kind of thing cooking on top of that so something like that uh, let's actually do it like that yeah that's better and get a railing like that 
I really like using these, just uh, kind of hanging over like that. We can also use also use these ones. Is that a trapdoor? I think it is. Yes. We can use that one as well. Let's see which one looks the best here. Okay, I kind of like that because it looks a little bit more massive. And then we're gonna get some herbs and stuff, maybe some meat hanging from these ones. Like that. And which is kind of cool. And then we can have some. I think we're gonna get a window in the back there if we can. I'm not sure how I will do this though, because it's on this corner block. Can I place that there? Yes. Awesome. So we can do something like that. Just kind of cheat a window in. And it works from the inside. Absolutely. Alright. We're gonna do something like that, and then I think we're just gonna squeeze in some bread. Oh, we can have some food like bread offered and stuff here. That's something they would offer in back in the days. Like that. Yeah, that works. Very cool. And then in here, what I like to do is to make the kitchen as messy as possible. If that makes sense. Just get a lot of like uh, bottles and some plates and stuff like that around here. Um, everything just kind of spammed around here, making it look a little bit more messy than you would like to have your own kitchen, you know? Um, we can have something like fish hanging back here. Like that. Um, yeah, something like that. It's not too messy, actually. And not as I kind of talked about. We can have some, something like that. But you know what, you kind of get the, the idea here. Keep it a little bit messy. Uh, and then we can have the table where they are sitting. Right here like that. Something like that. So kind of a simple, small area for the people staying here. But uh, yeah, it works. It looks kind of cool. I think we should have something on the walls here, like some tools and stuff. I know there's a painting we can use. Let's see if we can get that one. Come on now. I've said it before, but I'll say it again. We need some kind of way to scroll through the pictures, because this is way too time consuming. Come on now. There we go. Something like that. Kind of simple but gets the job done and that's what I'm all about, you know? Just getting it looking cool and I don't have to be super fancy. And now let's get some more stuff happening, shall we? Uh, I, I wanna have this shelf right here and then Maybe some like that, and maybe even some wine racks, I think. And then a uh, spice rack, yeah. We're gonna do something like that. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Yeah, I like that. And then we can have table here maybe uh, we can have a ba barrel in the back here yeah that's kind of cool and then we can have a flower pot here let's see if we can do one of those fancy ones it's not always possible due to how minecraft randomly kind of offset some of the plants but we're gonna see if we can do it we can it looks all right very cool so this is a simple but a small room, which in my opinion looks kind of neat. Yeah, I like that. Uh, very simple, but definitely gets the job done. Alright guys, uh, that's all I got time for today. It's been a decent long episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. If so, make sure to smack that like button. And if you haven't done it already, 
make sure to subscribe. It's been Vigoman, and I'm out.